my master began to whisper foul words in my ear. He peopled my young mind with unclean images, such as only a vile monster could think of. He met me at every turn, reminding me that I belonged to him, and swearing by heaven and earth that he would compel me to submit to him. She's just completely drowning in this, in this harassment and in this sexual situation. He doesn't want to force her. He wants to convince her. He wants to control her. He wants to control her mind. She says, my master had money and power on his side. I had a determined will. There is might in each. Wonderful line. So she's, she's in a war. And really, from the time she's 12, 13, 14, she understands it, because she isn't his victim. She's his enemy. Harriet knew that the doctor was the father of 11 slave children. Norcom had many children outside of his legal marriage. And what Harriet tells us that he tended to sell the children off. The practice was not unusual. Mulattoes, wrote a slaveholder's wife, are as common as blackberries. The rates of interracial children being born may have actually been higher then than any time since. Most of these liaisons cannot be described as consensual because any kind of liaison between a slave and their owner cannot be described as consensual. So no white man ever had to feel like he was in fact raping a black woman if he took her against her will. In fact, if you uh, look through the court records, you will find that the uh, judges often say there is no such thing as the rape of a black woman. The courts do not recognize it. This is just, it's disgusting, it's, it's obscene is what it is. It's obscene, it's perverted, it's incestuous, but it was normal. It was legal. <laughs>